Welcome, Yak Watchers! Today, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to play a text adventure for the Amstrad CPC. And this game is coded by Simon Avery. It's called Can I Cheat Death? So, let's cut the crap and get straight into the action. You'll have to excuse me reading the reams and reams of text, but that's generally what you get with text adventure games. You're in a homely pub full of atmosphere and cigarette smoke. A pretty barmaid leans on a polished bar and smiles at you. Various drinks are on offer. A door recessed into the north wall has a sign on it which reads, Toilets! Exits lead north and east. Okay! I'm busting for a pee, so let's use the toilet! You can't. What, you don't know how to use the toilet? Your mother never showed you? I guess buy some crisps? No? What sort of a bar's this? It doesn't sell crisps. Alright then, let's buy some beer! Can't buy beer! This is supposedly a pub, <laughs> but you cannot buy beer! Hold on a minute. Ah! You can't buy a beer, but you can buy a drink! Presumably orange squash. Because this is a non-alcoholic pub, it's a dry pub! Anyway, you order a drink, and before you can pay, the barmaid takes pity on you, and gives you this one on the house. You down the pint, and burp discreetly. Alright then, uh, thank the barmaid! Can't thank the barmaid. Okay, so now I can't talk. Although, hold on a sec. Talk to barmaid. Ah, there we go. You have to do it just right for it to know what the hell you're trying to tell it to do. The barmaid seems pleased that you want to talk, and insists that you talk about your favourite subject. Yourself! Half an hour later, the barmaid doesn't seem quite so rapt. Her gaze drifts around, and she stops your monologue abruptly before walking off to serve some customers. Yes, typical, isn't it? Maybe now we can use the toilet? Because we've just had... Dear me. <laughs> we've just had a drink, so now we can use it. Uh, no. Take... Exit to north? Can't go in that direction. G go east! Go <laughs> west, because life is peaceful there. No, not here. West isn't here either. These directions don't exist in this crazy world. Ugh. Hold on a minute. This game is supposed to be try to cheat death, so... Let's buy some more beer! And the same thing happens again. So, let's have a spot of deja vu and talk to the barmaid again. And it's all the same thing. So now she has listened to a half hour monologue twice in a row. And she doesn't seem that bothered. Shut up, barmaid? Can't. Yes. Evidently, he does not have the power of speech. I'm stumped now. Uh, buy nuts. Um, go south. No. Leave the pub. Can't leave the pub. He's trapped in here for the rest of his life. It's like the Hotel California. You can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. And we're back at the beginning. Let's have a cigar. Sorry, I don't understand that. He doesn't understand cigars. So maybe he's more of a cigarette smoker. Have a cigarette. No, he doesn't understand what cigarettes are either. Play some darts. After all, this is a pub. He can't play darts. He's too drunk. So, I guess we could play some pool? This is a terrible pub! I don't know what you think. 
Hold on a minute. Just hold on a minute. Look. Right. Let's analyze this initial sentence once again. Hmm. Talk to customers. Yes, obviously this bloke is a selective mute. Uh, just talk. Walk. Sorry, I don't understand. He doesn't understand how to walk. Die! Well, he's trying to cheat death, isn't he? So telling him to die would defeat the point of the game. Hit yourself with a hammer. He doesn't understand that. Uh, go forward and procreate. Not here. Okay, dudes. I've had to look online to see what to do next because I have no idea. <sighs> Come on. Oh, I can't even type now. There we go. All you needed to do was type the direction. We've advanced now. Because apparently... There is more to this game than meets the eye. And I do have to warn you right now that this may get quite adult. Mind you, it is only a text game, so it's not as if it's going to be very graphic, is it? You're in the toilets of a pub. Or the pub. Is it a different pub? Anyway, assistant bubbles obscenely, obscenely to itself around a corner and a urinal is built into a wall. A prophylactic machine prophylactic machine is also fixed onto a wall. Prophylactic machine? What's one of those? Hmm. A strange man in a long dirty trench coat looks at you intently. Hmm. Use toilet? Because I I'm still busting. But I still can't use the toilet. Okay. Talk to Bloke in trench coat. Can't. Just talk then. Alright then. Um. Well, look. Look. Alright. I'm going to have to cheat. This is what you do, apparently. Examine the system. He sees nothing special. But he does find something. What could it be? What is it? Examine. Object. Look. Look closer. No, you fool! Hold on a minute. We can also see a gold ring. So, examine ring. Can't examine ring. Uh, pick up ring, maybe? Can't go in that direction. Get ring? Okay, we've got the ring! Yeah! Now maybe we can examine the ring? I am the Lord of the Rings now! Yeah, forget I said that. Look! We now have the ring. So, give ring to man? Nobody wants it! Nobody wants the ring! <laughs> Completely different from the movie, which this is clearly ripping off. Even though it was coded about 20 years before it came out. I guess it could be based on the book. We've got the prophylactic machine. Examine machine. Aha! It takes one pound coins and magically changes them into condoms. Magic! Written on the side are the immortal words. Buy me and stop one. Hmm. Yes. Use condom. Can't. Maybe this isn't the time and place to use it. Uh, give condom to man? Nobody wants it, so nobody wants the ring, and nobody wants the condom. Hold on a minute. Nobody wants condoms? Oh, what is this? Some sort of Roman Catholic propaganda? There. Yeah. Right. Buy condom. You insert the pound into the slot. Pull the lever, and the product falls onto the floor. Get condom. Okay, we have the condom, and we have a ring. This is starting to get adult, isn't it? Next, we must head south. And we're back in the pub. 
with our newly acquired items. Let's use the condom here. Away we go. <laughs> Putting it on, you get strange looks from the passers-by. It may be a good idea to rem <laughs> to move from here before the police arrive. No! Sorry, I don't understand that. His grasp of the English language has failed him at this important point in time. All right then, so take condom off. Uh, okay, let's head east. We're now outside the pub. So, we couldn't leave until we picked up the condom and the ring? What is this? You're outside the pub and standing in a car park, which is mostly empty except for a single car parked up. Examine car. Nothing special, we found something. Steal car! Can't steal the car. Jemmy, open window. Come on, use stick. Hold on a minute. Use condom on car. Can't. Use ring on car. We could have scratched it. Yes, but there again, we're not thugs, are we? Alright, let's examine this again, shall we? We can see a wheel brace. Get wheel brace. Of course, we have the wheel brace. Use ring on wheel brace. <laughs> Use condom on wheel brace, well brace. Dear old oh dear, I cannot type. He can't use the condom. Well, I should have known. Examine wheel brace then. A long piece of iron. Use condom on wheel brace. <laughs> it's a long shot, but it might have worked. I don't know. Alright, we have to go south again, according to this walkthrough. Whoops! I'm not using a walkthrough, really. You're walking along a main road, so evidently we've forgotten all about the pub. And we're walking along the main road. Pub car park lies to the north, while the main road runs east to west. Okay, east. You're trudging along a main road, which runs east to west. At your feet is a drain cover. Examine drain cover. Looks quite heavy. Try and pick it up. No, hold on a minute. Enlist help of Incredible Hulk. Oh, come, come. Surely a streetwise bloke like you doesn't need help from a computer. What? Is the Incredible Hulk turned into a computer? Impertinence. Impertinence. Can't use exclamation mark. He doesn't understand that word. Of course. Lift. Drain cover. Ah. You lever the drain cover up with the wheel brace. It pops out and falls away with a clang. Enter sewers. The sewers aren't here. Just enter then. Down? No, I don't want to go down there. It's too scary and it smells like poo gas. All right then, if you're not going to go down there, the uh, south. Can't go in that direction. Scream at top of voice. What do I do next? Oh, what's this? I have with me a gold ring, condom one, and a wheel brace. Drop wheel brace. Okay, now go down. No, he doesn't want to go down there. Sheer impertinence. I will not have you, a computer character, ignoring me! Ugh. This isn't the end of this, Mr. Whatever your name is. What is this bloke's name? You, isn't it? So, I suppose it's me. I'm simultaneously sitting here at my computer, whilst walking the streets at twenty past ten on a Friday night. Huh. You... you imbecile! Why won't you do what I tell you? You're a blimmin' weakling! Alright. Let's try this again. We're back in the car park. East again, trudging along the main road. And you've got the drain cover again. The wheel brace is still there. Lift cover! With what? Um, 
get wheel uh, well brace. Okay. Now lift cover. There we go. We've lifted it. No. Go back to pub, you little prat. Prate. Not here. The pub isn't here. All right, then. Ah, we're back in the pub. Now, maybe we have to buy a drink first. And now we can leave. Hold on a minute. Get out of the toilets. We don't want to go in the toilets. We've already been in there. We know there's the weird, creepy bloke who stands there and does nothing. He except stare at you longingly. Why have we gone back in the pub? East. Can't go in that direction. West, then. Well, just when we're getting somewhere, our time has run out. I suppose it's for the best, because this could get quite graphic. I'll see you again soon.